As we move through the book of Judges, things go from bad to worse, and the behavior of people gets more and more immoral and more and more vile, frankly. And we turn to Judges chapter 17, and we hear the story of Micah and the Levite. Now, Micah, frankly, is a schmuck, and he steals a whole bunch of money from his own mother. I mean, are you kidding me? And his mother, when she finds out that someone has stolen a whole bunch of her silver, she utters a curse and basically says, hey, God curse whoever stole my money. Well, then her son Micah comes and says, hey, mom, guess what? It was me. So what do you do now? Well, Micah returns the money and his mother says, may my son be blessed by the Lord. And he returned the 1,100 pieces of silver to his mother and Micah, you know what that name means? It means, who is like the Lord? Who is like the Lord? Later on, we're going to meet one of the, the minor prophets named Micah. Who is like the Lord? You would think someone named Micah would be someone who really served and honored God. Well, what does Micah do in this circumstance after giving the money back to his mother? They commit idolatry with it. And they make their own shrine, and he basically goes out and buys his own Levitical priest. I don't know if you know what the word irony means, but it's pretty ironic that someone whose name means who is like the Lord would create idolatry in such a crass way. I mean, here is Micah violating at least three of the Ten Commandments, right? Um, by making an idol by not honoring his father and mother, and by stealing. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. For those of us who are Christians, we also bear a name that brings with it a great deal of responsibility. If we are truly to be known as little Christ, then in our behavior, our speech, our actions, uh, we need to be as much like Christ as possible. We want to try to live a God-honoring life in every way so that when people look at us, they can say, wow, if that's what following Christ does in someone's life, I want to have some of that in my life as well. Uh, that is certainly not what people think when they look at Micah in the book of Judges. What they see is someone who doesn't honor God, who is a thief, who doesn't honor his parents and is an idolater. We will see time and time again in the Bible and we see it in our own time. Just because someone claims to be a person of faith doesn't mean he or she truly is. The proof is in our actions and in our words.